Yo, hey guys, Beast, back some obviously content, and today I'm going to be doing a video over Nishiki. I do believe it's Nishiki Scared Inside and Out, and this Nishiki is one of the better Nishikis in the game. So, first of all, how many Kaku gems can you get? So, a normal six from the event. Now, that is if you get an overkill on all three difficulties. I do believe he's not the hardest to get overkills on all three difficulties and stuff, so you should be fine in that regard. So, the next thing is how many Kaku gems? So, six from the event. Four for clearing fifth or A rank on 50 times, and you get his award from Territory Award Dispatches, and an outbreak can happen, and his award can show up. But anyway, A rank, four Kaku gems, B rank 10 times, one Kaku gems, and five for 10 out of 10 in him. So, total of 16 Kaku gems. If you can't get an overkill, it's more like 15, but you should be able to get an overkill on all three difficulties. So, let's get right on into his stats without further ado. So, these are his stats. So, like I said, Nishiki scared inside and out right here, and he is looking uh, pretty nice. He has 10 out of 10 weapon upgrades. Anyway, so 8.5k HP, 630 attack, and a total of 550 defense, 11 AP, and 11 durability. So about average for AP and durability at 100% for these types of units, but nonetheless, not that bad. Okay, so what's his skill? Now, his skill is another one of those really annoying ones. It really, it really does make you go, mmm, not much worth is he so it's like restores the HP of front row allies by 30% cures bleed status so curing bleed is nice but restoring HP of front row allies by 30% that really isn't anything crazy there's three or four free to plays actually that actually do that so it isn't anything crazy but then again if you look at his art does he really look like he's gonna be anything crazy so he has this skill and increases AP by two that doesn't really matter increases healing of all allies by 10% once again nothing crazy not the craziest attack, not the craziest defense, and not the craziest HP. It's all about average stats for everything, and his skill is really below par. But, yeah, like I said, if you're after Cocker Gems, go for the Cocker Gems. If you're not, well, then this guy's probably not for you. But, anyway, let's go ahead and get a right on into this. So, I'll be back with you when we do have the ward selected that we're going to challenge with this guy on and a team. But, yeah. Alrighty, so, the team's been t put together. Now, I don't really have anyone to compare him to when it comes to a lot of things. Because he's just really not that good compared to literal anyone. But, we're going to be running the summonable Toka. The Fez Toka. We're going to be running this Nishiki. And we're going to be running a... I do believe it's an Akira. Now, this is not the summonable Akira. This is a premium Akira. So I guess this is the closest we have to comparing the two, though this Akira is 40% and she's a premium unit, but she also has a better skill. Overall, just a way better unit, but it's the only thing I have to compare him to AGL-wise. I could compare him to another free-to-play AGL, but that doesn't seem like the best idea. But overall, he's not a bad unit. Um, nothing crazy, though. He's an average unit. His skill is basically worthless, but yeah, I'll be back with you when... We're in the actual battle. But yeah. Alrighty, so we are finally in the actual battle, as you can see. Ooh, auto. Disable that. That was bad. Okay, so all his skills have activated. He has 11 AP, just like the Toka, though I think... Okay, yeah, he has about 11 AP at 100%. Really nice durability. That's one thing I will give free-to-plays. They have really nice durability, so if you really need some durability up units, then they have good durability. That's just an average thing for them. So, 2k on a crit versus 1.4, 1.4. Can we get a crit here? Okay, we got a break here. 2k non-crit, 3k on a crit. So, as you can see, he's really nothing crazy. The only reason you ever really are gonna farm a free-to-play, except for a certain few, is their... the Kaku gems, of course. He's really nothing crazy. Unless you're either a collector or after the Kaku gems, because it is 16 Kaku gems. He's nothing crazy to farm up, and really not worth it. Now, if you're after Kaku gems, it's always worth it to farm up these free-to-plays. They're just a really good. Now, I have a healer on this team. I just realized I probably shouldn't have brought the Fez Toka. Also, what's up with my settings? Hold up, we gotta, we gotta fix this, because this is annoying me. Can I have my indicators showing the skills? No, those are bugs right now. They should be showing, but for some reason they're not. Let's see if I change it to Predator's visual, Visuals, if I can see the indicators. So... I don't see a frame decrease, I don't think. But we're still missing the arrows, and it really annoys me. Also, the skill looks wrong there. I think I'm having a graphic bug right now, but normally that doesn't look like that. Normally there'd be like a little outline there. As you can see, his skill heals up a decent amount, but at the same time, we have Toka here, which is a godly healer. 
She's a Fez unit, but she's a godly healer. So if you pull something like Toka, you're getting way more out of it than him. So, nothing crazy. It does a decent amount of damage, but that's about it. He even looks kind of like a Yamcha unit if you ever played Dokkan, but nothing crazy. Does alright on damage. HP isn't the worst, but he's definitely nothing to write home about. Overall, the only reason why I'd ever grind this guy up is if you want to have 100% of every single free-to-play or you're after the Kaku Gem. 16 Kaku Gems for grinding up a unit is not a bad amount, and you don't even have to do it right away. You can do it a couple runs on the ward every Territory Wars and eventually have 16 extra Kaku Gems laying around. Like I said, he's alright, nothing crazy, but yeah. Just really, really nothing crazy. There are a lot better free-to-plays than him. But then again, none of the free-to-plays are crazy. I really, I really cannot argue that he's worth the grind besides 16 Kaku Gems. 16 Kaku Gems is the saving grace for 90% of the free-to-plays, but he's, he's really nothing special. So, I'm actually going to take a look at my team real quickly and see who I need to upgrade weapon upgrade-wise, and then probably run that ward with him and just see how it goes. I may actually run him against what he's weak to, but then again, he'd probably get one-shotted because his defense is only like 500 and... He has good durability though, but you know, yeah. Nothing crazy there for sure. Let's quickly just take a look at what defense-wise we have. What's the highest defense free-to-play that we have? Ryoko, and then it's Mr. MM. So, I don't necessarily say Mr. MM, Mr. MM also has a lot more attack, way more durability. Ryoko has more durability, more defense, and more attack. Like I said, he's, he's really bad even compared to other free-to-plays. He still does alright damage, and 100% he's still gonna do almost 2k on a crit when he has type advantage, but nothing crazy. Not even close. So, real quickly, let's take a look at what we need to upgrade. So, anything locked is basically done, besides the model. The model needs upgraded, and not the purple one, the uh, blue one. So, five of these, but I'm fine on the actual weapons. Okay, so, I actually think I'm pretty good. I just need the fourth material. So, how's she looking? Okay, I have the material for it once again, but it costs a lot. Let's see if Toka can have an upgrade. Though I think I have Toka already upgraded. There we go, there's a red one. Upgrade, five, okay, yeah. I'm kind of at that point where I can't upgrade anymore without the fourth material, and I only want to upgrade really good units with fourth material. This guy is definitely good. He's only two off from being 100%. Well, all right, 10 out of 10 mastery, not 100%, but you know what I'm saying. But yeah, I think I'll just run a random event one more time. Let's see if maybe I have any dispatches returned, and then we'll just run a random event. But yeah, overall, nothing crazy. He's still able to do damage. You can still use him on the team if you had to. If you don't have a healer, once again, he is a healing unit. But nothing crazy. Really not a good unit. Let's hope it has the right team selected. All right, wait a sec. Yeah, that's the right team. I It actually continued on when I only clicked once. But like I said, nothing crazy. Not a good unit. But, I do think it's worth the grind if you're after Kaku Gems. I always say it's worth the grind if you're after Kaku Gems. But, if you are a pay to win game, or if you pay, or you buy Kaku Gems in general, if you're farming him up to see an actual good unit, you're wasting your time. Curing Bleed status is a nothing, because, yeah, it's just definitely nothing crazy. Though his healing isn't too bad. Maybe I should just not use the Toka for a second, and try and get a full good comparison. So let's go ahead and get this one awakened. Like I said, he's nothing crazy, but he can be used on your team. But yeah. Overall, not that good. Let's actually see if we can... Well, hold up. What are we going against right now? We're going against SDR again. Uh, let's see if we can get an overkill with him on the last part. Now, this would be clearly off just normal attacks. So that really sounds questionable. So I really don't see an overkill here. And also, actually needing a healing unit in general is kind of sketch. <laughs> I do like this Toka though, she's really good. She's a good healer, she's a good support unit. One of the best support units, I think she's the best support unit on Global, but that's not who this video's over. This video's over, this here boy, Nish. And he's nothing. Nothing crazy at all. Uh, I think I'm gonna try and get this one as low as possible. Ooh, ooh, stop, stop. And then... I think I'm gonna kill the... Actually, no. We're gonna make one of the side units. The one we get the overkill on. 
Oh, I thought we were, except for the fact that I have a way stronger unit going at the side units now. Okay, I think that's as low as we can get it, so... Let's give the Toka a chance here. And then we'll activate Toka's skill, and we'll see if he can somehow get an overkill on it. Though I doubt it. Okay, 2.7k. Oh, he actually got an overkill. I was actually able to use him to get an overkill, so that's entertaining. But, yeah. Like I said, not a good unit. Defense, attack, durability... Everything is average. His durability is about, I think it was 11 or so at 100%, but it's still nothing crazy. He, he doesn't get any better, and maybe one day if they go through free-to-plays and refresh them and take any of the ones that have like really subpar skills and revamp them or have some sort of renewal of free-to-play units, maybe one day he'll become alright again, but I really doubt it. You really shouldn't expect anything much out of a card that looks like this, but I do like him, I like the art, I do like what part of the anime he's from, and 16 Kaku Gems is a good amount of Kaku Gems, do not get me wrong and do not mistake me for saying that he's not. But, I do believe that's all for now, thank you so much for watching if you liked the video, subscribe if you're not already, leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it, and keep it peaceful. I'm out, see ya. Like I said, 16 Kaku Gems is the only reason to grind him, or if you just want to be a collector, but overall, not a good unit. There are way better free-to-plays out there, but yeah, I'm out, I'll see ya.